Hello friends, I'm Big Stupid Grin. Welcome back to our playthrough of Star Traders Frontiers at the brutal difficulty as a merchant slash scavenger, salvager, whatever you want to call it. Uh, some quick, a quick channel update and kind of explanation why the series got stalled out there for a little bit. Um, I'm going back to college, so I spent, I've been spending a lot of time preparing for that. Uh, doing all the paperwork and just yeah getting ready for that so that's taken up a lot of my time and then um, I must have updated OBS because I lost the uh, the settings that let me record in HD so there's actually a lost episode which we will go into uh, you didn't miss too much I leveled up a lot of people I shook off the rust of the game because I hadn't played it in a while, and um, I went back to my uh, home home quadrant, uh, technically home area, I guess, if you want to call it that, uh, with Calgan Fane, uh, and uh, did our little you know our little trade run here from this industrial zone to the mining zone to the farming zone, made a bunch of money. I also took a mission, this salvage run. Uh, the money isn't fantastic. Three jumps for 31k is pretty bad. However, we're going to be salvaging anyway, so hopefully we can make some money uh, on top of that. And uh, it's in the right direction because I want to check out Ali's arm, mainly so that I can start building reputation with Clan Makalum so that we can uh, grab some trade permits that aren't exclusively from... Uh, Javat, our starting clan. Anyways, let's take care of leveling up, and then we're going to look for some ship upgrades. As far as leveling up goes, if you, you're going to see a lot more jump cuts because I've, uh, I've been wasting a lot of time trying to figure out what I want to do with all of my, uh, with all of my uh, crew and officers and stuff. Um, like uh, Thomas Riker here, the quartermaster. Uh, military officer replacement so um, we're gonna take a look really fast here yeah it was commanding sweep that I wanted just to help do the patrolling mission a little bit uh, let's make sure I'm recording everything is going okay and as far as job points let's see what we want at level 8 Uh, none of these things really matter. Yeah, I don't like any of these level 8 talents. Let's see if... Uh, actually, level 11, this Guardian Vigil would be pretty good for us. So I'm going to let that direct us towards Military Officer first and foremost. All right, and this is the, the most... Um, this is the most exciting level up here with our hyper warp and navigator check off because oh I didn't mean to pick level 12 here got to they even have okay they have a level 15 okay that's an okay uh, talent for level 15 whoops I didn't mean to select that job we can retrain if we want to but the exciting part we have skip off the void Use a short burst of hyperwave drive to bounce a short distance and escape crew combat. Causes 30 to 60% damage to the drive, mitigated by navigation skill. And requires fuel equal to a hyperwarp jump. This is 100% successful as far as I know. And it is incredibly important uh, because that means we don't have to fear a random Xeno ship. Uh, any, you know, random zealot ships that refuse to let us bribe them. Um, I still have Jordi LaForge here to level up. So, yeah, that really gives us some freedom as far as how we play. Uh, I still have to be uh, very careful about stuff. Uh, let's go with Unforeseen Discovery, probably. Eventually, we're going to want hard bargain, but we can retrade for that. I'm uh, not really doing anything here. Yeah, you probably shouldn't just pick blindly pick a level 11 talent because you hit level 11. Because uh, I am 
being a little bit lazy here. I guess I'll take the card game talent here on Foreseen Discovery. All right, next thing we're going to do is work on upgrades. We have plenty of money to do so, and we are at our home, sort of home base, I guess. So I'll take a look. Let's look at the card games first. Uh, that's actually not bad. Rumors are the lifeblood of us. Um, I'm going to look at we have 51 weeks with three jumps, so I can't waste too much time here. I'm going to keep commanding sweep and just get rid of ship encounter here and hope to learn a rumor. Awesome. Ion storm over here. Okay, well, we can avoid it at least. But let's land, and we're going to look to upgrade our ship. We still need a crew. Uh, sorry about that. <laughs> I got. I got to figure out what I want to do with the uh, with the crew. So let's upgrade our ship. So what can we upgrade? We still have a couple of these cheap torpedoes. I don't think I upgraded these. Not that we're doing a lot of fighting, so I'm not sure if that's all that important. We could upgrade cargo. Uh, I was kind of waiting for the really expensive cargo upgrade, which I don't think we can afford. We could technically. So that would be, we have cargo one. Oh God, that's gonna make our cargo ridiculous. I also kind of wanted to upgrade our ship pools, our skill pools here. Um, 625, the mass is the same. I don't know, should we be ridiculous or should we just upgrade something that's a little more important? Like, uh, we could upgrade these armored bulkheads. Uh, let's see how much that costs. I kind of want to keep at least 100,000 credits. So we could really go high on here, up on here. It's gonna cost us additional jump cost, that's okay. Plus 35% to be hit in combat. Is that just a straight up downside? I probably should upgrade these. I don't know. I'll do that a little bit later. I think let's let's go crazy. Upgrading to the hauler ho uh ho haveler? No, sorry. The hauler hold. So an additional 40 combo or 40 cargo over this. And the fuel capacity, that's the same. Extra shielding. Extra jump cost, not too bad. And an extra three in our ship ops uh, skill pool. And, ooh, that's going to take 17 weeks. Yeah, we don't have time for this, do we? Um, what does it take to upgrade this? A week and a day. Ah, oh, that sucks. <laughs> All right, let's let's make this upgrade first. As much as I'd love the flashy cargo upgrade, that's going to take way too long. We only have fifty so uh, weeks to keep going here. So, pay everybody. Uh, don't have any level ups. Uh, we are going to Lenap Belt couple of independent systems uh, luxury population hopefully we can yeah we can buy some expensive stuff here uh, advanced medicines power gens refined spice uh, oops, what do we have here okay we actually don't have anything especially exciting I know they wanted luxury clothing. And then Yeah, cuz we just uh we just bought all of their exciting stuff anyway. 
Let's take a look again if they want. Uh, luxury rations is fine. All right. Now we are good to go. Uh, I guess we'll buy seven water fuel. And... Yeah, make a giant jump here. <laughs> uh, what's the... What's the fuel like over here? Okay, we have good fuel, so we'll stop. Stop there. Alright, explorer ship. Um... Our rep is to... Alright, this is fine. As long as we don't fight or do any missions against Steel Song, I think we'll be okay. Of course, it's always good to build rep with all the factions, and Steel Song is kind of the more. one of the scarier factions to tick off. Alright, and then just a quick little stop here to buy fuel. Now we do have a merchant contact here. I don't have any scientific intel, I knew that. We could hire a scientist. Level 10 scientist? Uh, the problem is we don't really have the exploring card game down pat. That doesn't mean we can't uh, work into it, but sure, why not? Do you have any missions? Technologist, rank delivery. Uh, 52 units of crystals. We're going where here? Sarna Eddy. And that is in the wrong direction, so never mind. Anything else with you? Court Seer. Where's this going? Sarna Eddy. Okay. Maybe we'll pick up something from him later. And then we have a new scientist to level up. Okay, level 8 talents. So what do we have at level 8? So scientists, I believe... Ooh. Okay, we have a salvage card, so you know, you know me. I've got to take that. I think we have enough remove a risk card cards. Um... They do like... Ooh, failed doctor test. That would be really good. Uh, landing in a wild zone. Okay, just landing that gives us... Scientific intel. That's pretty crazy. Uh, and then... We have no... We have no failed command tests. It's probably smarter to get. Okay, so yeah, we'll see if that's a good decision or not. Uh, it can't hurt us all that much, so I'm not too worried about that. Let's keep going. And then we wanted to head to that luxury population zone first. Heavy patrols, it's our faction, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, let's land. And we can sell this for a tidy, well, 7,600 profits. And 2330. Something went off here. You now, just, uh, just some reputation. That's not a big deal. Uh, let's see what the map looks like. Uh, we have to we have to buy fuel here, unfortunately. And I don't think I'm going to play the card games because I kind of want to make sure I don't run out of time. And where I really want to go, we got a pirate. I have no cargo, but it's our it's our faction, so it doesn't matter. Why I'm going this in, in this direction is because I want to explore the that clan Makaloom quadrant. 
and yeah, Ali's arm here. So, God, it is spread way the heck out. So this is bad. We have farming, population, I think we have an industrial. So two farming and industrial. So we'd have to go to the industrial zone and then, and then sell to this farming zone, two farming zones and a population zone. So the zones are okay, but they're so spread apart. And I think that's still the best place for me. There's Ang there's Angular Chaos, but that's only two Clan Makalum systems. Uh, let's worry about our mission first, and then we will we'll keep going. Okay, we got a pirate. Uh, we don't want to lose reputation. What are we at? Rep five. I don't think we lose much as far as reputation goes, but we might as well just do the smart thing, either pay him or submit to looting. Yeah, we have a refinery zone here that we can check out. I don't think I've checked out, uh, let's see, sort, filter. Yeah, I haven't visited any of these places yet. So I'll have to map this place out eventually. By that, I just mean landing everywhere. Um, a fuel. Oh, it's good to check out the, the refineries uh, if you don't know where to buy stuff. Um, I did have a, a wild zone thing here. Uh, sure, why not? Yeah, we didn't get anything out of it. That's okay. I think I picked that. Did I pick that skill? Sorry, this is a tangent. <laughs> uh, where's our... God, I can check this later. Yeah, I've never really rolled with scientists before. Um, yeah, I didn't pick those talents yet. So, my bad. Time remaining, 40 weeks. I think we're okay to do a little trading on the side. Uh, refinery to high-tech industrial. Uh, we can't do anything too crazy. Legality 10, Carbonite Crystals, it's a decent a decent bet here. And yeah, I'll just have to map this place out later. Of course we run into a pirate. Um, again, we could bribe him or we could just leave. These bribes are getting expensive. All right, I'm just going to I'm just going to leave, and we didn't actually lose any any reputation, so that's fine. All right, yeah, there's pirates swarming. I think I saw that rumor. Uh, feels okay. It's not better than the refinery, but. See, this is why you shouldn't follow. <laughs> Don't assume I know much about the game. That is just me being lazy. That's a that's a trade ban. Uh, so it's House Thaloon. We have zero rep with him. I think we can sell sell once and be okay. Do I even have, I don't even have Thaloon around me. Yeah, Thaloon is more to the sides of the map, so. All right, I'm still gonna offload this stuff. Let's see what our rep loss is. 10, so that's pretty bad. So we don't wanna do that too often. Now we did learn of a naval officer. So that's not horrible. Let's move on, pretend that didn't happen.
Here, I'll, I'll say the saying that I kind of hate, which is do as I say, not as I do. All right, salvage run. So yeah, we have our full suite of, um, of cards here. Do I have a mission success card? I don't. So what would be best here? Probably, probably just credits. So, what's the worst thing that could happen? Distress signal could be bad. Oh, awesome. 20 percenter. And then we predicted this is going to last 38 more weeks. That's okay. All right, so we have to keep going. Ship combat, 2x crew combat, Jesus. Okay, we can avoid ship combat. And that's kind of the best thing we can do. Uh, we don't have any ship damage as far as I know. So let's just grab this. All right, scientific intel. Again, just something we can sell later. Okay, 50 to... Wow, that's that's crazy. Um, ship combat. It's a pirate ambush. There's no pirate Xeno. Uh, let's just do this, I think. All right, mission success. Okay, easy, easy day, easy life. And we're all done with that mission. And we can keep salvaging if we want. All right, fuel, Xeno Assault, Jesus. Yeah, that's the only one that really scares me, however. Okay, some intel. And make sure we don't run out of fuel. Xeno ship combat. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Alright. And we were able to prevent that. Ship combat. We'll just keep going. All right, recover fuel, that's cool. And we have two crew combat ones, so no. <laughs> uh, let's dock, pay everybody. There is no fuel to be had here, which is great. Um, nobody to level up, which is fine because I'm lazy. All trade is suspended during the orbital construction. Okay, fair enough. Uh, what do we have to do here? Uh, with Seder Syndicate, I don't really care to do much. What's the rumor? Embargo, Pirates, Ion Storm. Okay, nothing particularly interesting. So... We're going to set a waypoint to Elise Arm, and then uh, we're going to pick up some fuel here. Yeah, like I said way back in the first or second episode, the more time you spend paying attention to details, the better are you going to be at this game. So you don't do something stupid like I did selling during a trade ban. However, I am going to play the card game super fast. And it doesn't look like there's going to be anything especially good here. So, not going to worry about it. Um, we're actually down on... Oh, I did buy a, an upgrade, so yeah, never mind. Don't listen to me. <laughs> Alright. So, this is going to be... 
This is going to be annoying because these places are so far apart. And it's going to be industry to one of the other places. So, uh, Danger level is 16, which kind of sucks. Military, independent military officer. We can just retreat without any penalty. And then let's land here. Um, we can play the card games if we want, but we're low on fuel. Uh, do we have reputation bonus? We do. So it's probably worth it. Um, we'll get rid of the distress signal and see if we can't get some extra rep, which is what we are looking to do anyways. Uh, we failed that, but that's okay. All right, C minus fuel, which is really bad com <laughs> considering how spread apart everything is here. Let's pay everybody. And... Let's take a look. Six trade lot. That's pretty low. Uh, probably can't buy too much. Clothing is a good is a good bet. Otherwise, water purifiers are okay. We can take those to farming, mining, luxury pop zones, all of those things. Um, we can buy 51 units of this. And then fill up everything else with water purifiers. So this trading isn't going to be nearly as exciting as when we're trading with trade permits. But it'll be okay. Alright, chain, train jobs and talents. Uh, we're going to level up Crusher here as a spy. Do we have any spy talents we want to take right now? We just have level... Uh, the first tier here. So probably not. No. So let's look at Doctor Talents. I would eventually like to do stuff like Generous and Service, but our our medical word, our medical rating is pretty low at the moment. So let's get professional respect, failed command tests. When in doubt, field tests and card game stuff is is fine. And I guess Jordy's going to be a spy now, too. Decide if that's what I actually want out of him. Anybody else? Um, Hyperwarp Navigator. And I guess we're just going to go to 15. Is he a... Is he not an officer? No, he's an officer. Maybe we can retrain him later. Alright, so we have full cargo. Um, I think this is all... Pop mining, farming... Yeah, so let's go to a farm farming area. And uh, what what makes the most sense here? I guess we'll go go down here to Quasar Mem, and we gain some rep with Makalum, which is good. All right, use half our fuel to go to <laughs> from one place to another. Uh, run blockade. There's a trade blockade. Never mind. Uh, let's just look at the card game super fast. Um, we can run away from the pirates if we have to. I would love to get a new contact introduction. Um, and that's not going to be all that interesting. Alright, never mind. So we can't even land here to refuel, which is a big bummer.
Hi, Zeno. <laughs> Alright. Obviously, we're skipping off the void here. So, yeah, our hyperwarp drive suffers 50% damage. And we burned a ton of our fuel to escape. Um, oh my god. This is awful. Closest thing we have here is a jump to the Lenap belt. But we would have to spend more fuel. I'm not sure if you can even jump without fuel. So we're just going to have to drift in space. Okay, run into a spy. That's fine. And a crew mutiny. Okay. Fortunately, we have a, uh, a skill for that. Hmm. Okay. This is how fast things can... Oh, my God. Okay. Bounty hunter. I suppose we could have just submitted to inspection. We have... Yeah, okay. Now I'm just making bad decisions here. <sighs> Alright. Jesus. So, yeah. 9 plus people have low morale. 29 crew members have low morale. Uh, we can't make a jump. We are out of fuel. Let's see how many people leave us. We lost a pilot, a mechanic, a gunner, and another pilot. And an E-Tech. So that's great. Um, yeah, we're going to pay people, fuel up, repair, heal, spice leave, not enough spice. Uh, we lost a, I know we lost a pilot. Who all did we lose? We have cargo to sell, too. I totally forgot about that. We lost an E-Tech. Let's take a look at our ship stats here. Yeah, we need E-Techs. Which they don't have. I'm not sure how easy it is to recruit E-Techs, either. Uh, some of the crew types are easy to find, and some of them aren't. So what else are we missing? That's the only skill pool that's lower than 100%. Um, I think I can look at this, the logs here. Okay, we lost a pilot, a mechanic, a gunner, another pilot, and an E-Tech. So, uh, do we have mechanics? We don't have mechanics. We'll get another pilot. And I think that's, that's kind of everybody I want. I'm gonna take a crew dog to get the spice leaf talent. And yeah. <laughs> okay, this guy's level five. Um, let's take the reward skill and then just go and relaxing leave and our pilot here. go expert maneuver and probably another one yeah all right so this is uh this is really bad because we have no more spice on this area so we're just going to have to move on to a different quadrant 
and hope we don't have another mutiny or run into Zeno. <sighs> okay, we'll pay reparations. There's a Xeno fleet rumor, so we're not going to return here anytime soon. Another place way out in the middle of nowhere. Okay, you have spice, so that's where we're going next. Uh, Zealot, we can just acknowledge. I mean, not much we can do. We just need to. We need to do spicing before, you know. Yeah, we lost another five people. Alright, well, this is probably uh, more exciting <laughs> for, <laughs> for the playthrough. Uh, I'm going to figure out how to pick up the pieces, and uh, I'm Big Stuber Grin. <laughs> Until next time, have a good one. Let's buy some fuel while we're at it as well. Alright, have a good one, guys.